Welcome to 7 Days Today. So I reached the end of this POI and I had to break my way in because I had no idea how to get in. But that's nice. So let's just open up all these things and see what we got. I don't have any eye candy, but I brought my looting goggles. And after this, I'm gonna go work on the base because the concrete should be coming along. There you go. So what we got? Find more brass and wood and a level 4 primitive bow. Nice. If this was bow parts, I would be able to do a wooden bow. But uh, that's good. There you go, there's some armor, but it's actually worse than mine. What am I wearing? Oh yeah, I'm wearing the pedal, so let's scrap that one. This is 10% more damage against Coyotes, and great. That was awesome. So this one was a little weird. I went all the way to the roof, and when I reached the roof, I couldn't find my way into the house. So I had to bang it away, and then when I was inside the house, I actually found keys to open up the whole house, but I couldn't find my way in, which was a little strange, not gonna lie. Usually, we managed to get a clear entrance, I couldn't find it. But there you go, some nice stuff. Another book, Tech Junkie. I've been finding a lot of Tech Junkies too, and I'm already full, so what can I drop? Under 60 bucks, 4 stone, there you go. Ooh, I can do dart traps, nice. This one I would like to keep. Because I think it's made out of steel. 44 bucks, let's scrap that one. Let's take it, let's scrap for lead and for electrical parts. I think that should be good. And I can, yeah, I would like to take the gunpowder. So what can I leave? One, one animal fat. One animal fat. I need the ammo fat for the flaming arrows. But I mean, it's just one. And I got that thing. Okay, so... I still want to dismantle this thing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop off some stuff on the bike. And uh, come back. So let's see what the zombie wants. And she died on the board wire. That's nice. Very helpful. Okay, there we go. Nice little bike. Holy moly. A couple bikers. Is this a roaming horde? Could be. Now that the doors are open, everybody comes in. No, no. Nobody. Buddies. Seriously. This is not the right time for this. Oh boy. And I have to use some ammo. Those fella, oh boy. I don't have any points. Oh man, and why the, oh yeah, because it's a new bow. Come on, that's a big leg spike right there. They, oh boy, he went down with one arrow. Jesus, that was great. Oh nice, apparently I hit the same one. That was, oh Jesus. Slow down, bitch. You're way too fast for my liking. Oh boy. Let's use some more ammo. And okay. I can fight again. I can fight again. There you go. Nice. Let's make him bleed a little bit. Okay, he's out. Sweet. Oh boy. Let's go pistol again. Okay, and we're done. Nice. This house was really strange. That was the first time that I remember that I couldn't find a way to continue the POI. But okay, it got done. So let's go in and retrieve that workbench. That's what I would like. So apparently there's still another one here. Where is she? There she is. Confused. Are you confused? Seem to be. But there we go. Nicely done. I don't know why, but lately I keep forgetting to drink coffee and uh, I usually keep it in my tool belt because I want to use it frequently, especially in the beginning but lately I'll be forgetting to use it, I don't know why but okay, so let's deliver this thing uh, I already checked the vending machine, let's see, let's see what he's got he might have something nice, I don't think so, but you never know just before I go, I think I better just remove this car from next to my horde base because it couldn't cause problems. With the AI I do it 100%, I mean, they, they can just like, blow up this car in three hits or something. <laughs> I don't know. But it, uh, so far, at least, it kind of feels like 200% is better because uh, it still gives me time to, exa for example, when I try to destroy a door, it still gives me time to prepare. And well, let's see, what can I sell? I'm gonna sell this this uh, mining helmet. This I would like to keep. Keep the oil and the nitrate. Uh, yeah, 
let's just go and sell. I don't know, uh, in later stages of the game, let's see how I feel about it. But for the time being, I think the block damage uh, is a little bit better. Because it's not 200% block damage, it's not too much that it kind of destroys the blocks really damn fast. And uh, in certain situations, it actually feels a little bit better. But uh, let's see how it goes. Now we're cooking again. First aid bandage or a level 3 wrench? I think I'm gonna go with a first aid bandage. Uh, let's actually sell first a few things. Let's take the sugar butts. Oh, I didn't want to sell, man. <laughs> I just sold the sugar butts. And now I have to buy it for 300. Uh, I don't think it's gonna pay off. It's only gonna give me 10%. I don't have that many things to sell. So, uh, yeah, that's okay. One mistake was made. That's fine. So, let's just sell these things. Let's sell the headlights. I think I have uh, steel knuckles that sell. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, long let's take the thing. It was. <laughs> okay. Restore power. It's very far away, though. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for uh, houses here. Let's see what he's got. Okay, so he's got some nice stuff, but it's all very expensive. I'm gonna try to save now. Because I have to put points into better board and stuff like that. Let's actually check. So I got an extra point. So this would give me what? Forge steel are less expensive, but I have to reach here to do the. to do the crucible. So I don't know. I think, in fact, I'm gonna put one point here. Because it's gonna start to get a little bit of a better price. And let's see. Yeah, it's already a little bit better, more manageable. But yeah, he's got a few mods and stuff. Yeah, he's got my sugar butts. I should be able to buy another one later. <laughs> okay. Come back tomorrow. Nothing spectacular. So let's just drop off a few stuff. And let's see if I got enough concrete to start doing some upgrades. That's gonna be nice because at least the walls. Oh, wait. I got another book there. Yeah, let's just sell this book. I'm doing a little bit more pipe bombs. I'm gonna do more spikes. I did a little bit more uh, molotovs. I'm gonna crank up. A little bit more burning stuff. I actually had another sugar butts here, but it's fine, I can use it later. So let's just see how much concrete I got. More than a thousand, not too bad. I just don't have that much cobble. Let's see if I got a little bit more here, or at least some sand, some stone and clay. I don't have any clay, but I'm gonna bring some stone and I might dig a little bit more clay. Uh, there you go. I do have some sand here. So let's do 94 more concrete. Why not? There you go. And, uh, okay, I, I think I have a nice stack, by, I mean, Molotovs, pipe bombs, some shotgun ammo, I don't have a really good shot. I actually sold my pipe shotgun, I just didn't like it too much. And uh, I think I'm gonna bring these things, now that I'm not gonna loot, I think this will be helpful to give me some more experience. So, I got some repair kits, in case I need to, I might. And uh, everything else, I think it's okay. Of course, the ammo is a little bit dire, I don't have that much. Except for the pistol, which is not too bad, but for this one, I would like to have a little bit more. But okay, let's just keep working on the horde base. I want to get it prepared as soon as possible so that I can be a little bit more relaxed before horde night. And, uh, you know, I've been doing a few quests, but I might also go around and try to do some uh, random ransacking. Because that's kind of my favorite thing to do. And I usually find pretty good stuff like that. So there you go. And I'm definitely considering upgrading this whole floor. But I don't think I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, I'm gonna start upgrading the wall. So let me just see from the outside. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start upgrading these lower levels here. Maybe two levels of concrete. Or three. Let's start by two all the way around. Because I'm not sure, I don't think it's going to be enough for everything. But if I can at least upgrade these two levels, that's going to be a good help. Yeah. Maybe I should also start by the catwalk. Yeah, might be... Might be better. At least the lower part. Because cops are going to stop hitting. And that's where I'm going to stand. If the birds come in... I mean, they cannot try to come from the roof, maybe, but they could also try to come from here. They're gonna start attacking this thing. The spider zombies are gonna start jumping. So with 200%, they might do a bit of damage to these things. But, yeah, it's gonna be a lot, and I'm not gonna have enough concrete for all. 
Yeah, I need support. Let's just keep upgrading this part here. At least these two blocks. I think I might have enough to upgrade two blocks all the way around. And I'm gonna also keep destroying this stupid ladder, because I still haven't destroyed it and I think I need to. Okay, let's just keep upgrading. Nice. It goes straight to concrete. It's a little bit weird now that we only have this texture. I guess we can paint it later. Because I kind of like the reinforced concrete texture. I think it looks nice, clean and... Uh, I don't know. And uh, this one is a little bit strange, but... Uh, it's not too bad. Looks a little bit more rustic, more... survivally, And uh, it's not that bad. I can jump here. There you go. Okay, so got some remaining spikes. There you go. Nice. And I'm really excited for this one, base. I'm really, I'm really excited to see if it's gonna work. Because not only the chance to use explosives and uh, fire is fun, but I never actually did a hard base like this. So I'm, I'm excited and interested to see how it's gonna be. Because mainly, I think it's gonna be really fun. Uh, I'm not too concerned if it's gonna work very well or not. <laughs> of course, I would like to, but my main my main thing is I, I really think it's gonna be fun to be up there and having the zombies completely confused underneath and just blowing them up to pieces in big ropes. That's something that I like to do when I go out in the street and uh, use a bunch of uh, mega crushes and coffee and beer and stuff and just make them blow up on the street. But I think here. In an enclosed space, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so I managed to do two blocks all the way around. And I still got 400. So I think I'm gonna go for the third block. Yeah, I think it might be better. Actually, the catwalk, it's a little bit far out. It's one, two... It's on the fourth block. So I think uh, it's more important the pillars around. So let's go for the pillars. This one actually is a bunch of blocks. It's five blocks on this corner but there you go nice and uh, I have around 170 spikes I'm not sure if it's enough let's see about that but I should have plenty of trees around and there you go I got another point so let's see what would be useful maybe the malicious expert I need perception 3 I should also need some gas to make more molotovs, so maybe put an extra point here, yeah, uh, let's see, so I already got Pomopi 2, the knives, I would like to improve it, and also put a point into the pistol, there's a lot of things, I would definitely like to keep improving better border to get a better deal, because I'm always out of money, and, um, the lucky lure is also already level 2, so, yeah, Let's put it... where was I thinking? The Fortitude. I don't think I'm gonna... I mean, the Hail Infector would give me one health point every 45 seconds. That would be nice, not gonna lie. What about the Archery? I also need level 3 in Agility. Hmm... So in fact, I think I'm gonna for Salvage Operations, because I do wrench a lot, and it's gonna allow me to do a better wrench. And uh, apparently it doesn't take steel, just forge iron. And I think having more gas to be able to do more molotovs is going to be very helpful. The gas and oil. Those are the two things that are keeping me down. Because the molotovs seem to be very powerful. And for this sword base, is the perfect weapon to use. Okay, so I got three layers all the way around. And uh, I'm left with 160. So I think I'm going to upgrade a little bit more with cobble on the roof. That line over there just above me and uh, i think it should be good then it's just a matter of upgrading everything that it, it is upgraded already and i would also like to upgrade that side over there because i'm gonna be there i don't really want to look outside it's all about looking in i want them to come in i don't care what they're doing outside you know uh, i kind of care i mean i don't want them to destroy this part of the wall but uh, you know what i mean uh, so yeah let's go yeah, to the roof is actually from the from the inside. I'm gonna leave the spikes to the end because you know I always I always run into them. So let's just separate this part to cobble. One extra block. I think I think it's gonna be good. 
and here this side and then i'm definitely counting on putting some towers up here but for the time being i think i'm gonna use spikes here on the roof too and uh, hopefully the birds will get killed on them of course this similarity is pretty high it's kind of not too much too high but it's a little bit so it's there's a good chance that the birds tr try to come to the side because i'm gonna be on the catwalk so Maybe the spikes on the roof won't work, but I will only know when I tried it. I definitely am gonna lay a few of them. And I think like this should be okay. So yeah, let's start removing these stairs because when a bunch more come, I think uh, they they might try to come for this. It's 2500, it's gonna take a while, but I still got some time. So this side is almost done. And uh, I was kind of thinking about covering up this whole thing with blocks and actually use it to give it a little bit more structure integrity. But I think what I'll need in it is on the on inside. Oh, it actually collapsed that thing. So it was connected to the ladder. Okay, but there's no staircase. And another cool thing that I could use this would be to put some uh, turrets inside here to shoot out. I think it would be pretty cool. So for the time being, I'm not going to put anything here. But I'm gonna have to go and collect some more wood. But what I was thinking was actually putting an extra block here. Because it can go all the way to that thing. And having an extra block, even just a plate, on the inside will uh, allow me to have more support. Because it's one block in, so we should support more weight. Help. And uh, what I was thinking was to use those 4x1s that they introduce. Which is really nice to make a nice little ramp for the garage. And even these things placed on the floor should look pretty cool for a nice little ramp. But I think I'm going to go for the flat ones. I just don't know where they are. Uh, let's see, the 4x1. I actually thought it was 3x1, but it seems to be a 4x1. It's this one right here. So I'm actually just going to use... Let's actually put all of them on the floor and actually see. I mean, it's 4 blocks, so it should be a 4x1. Right, because it's basically double the inclination of this thing. Uh, not double the inclination, half the inclination. So this would take two blocks to get a full block higher up. And these ones take four blocks to get a full block up. And it's uh, half the inclination, so it must be 11 degrees around that. And uh, it's pretty cool. But I think I'm definitely going to use these ones on the wall here. I think they're going to look pretty cool. So I'm just going to use these two. Let's put it on face. Like that. And then... Like that. Because it's still going to be thin. I'm just going to put one. Because I'm kind of thinking about putting electric fences here. And here. Because the zombies should come from this place. So they're going to get caught when they come in. That's the idea. And over there I could use the other one. Let's see if it connects. Uh, let's go on face Yeah, there you go. I think it's gonna look cool. I transition to the other one and it's the same distance over there in the middle So here I can just use a normal plate. I think so. Let's see if I can find a plate No, there's a lot of them plates um, Where's the normal plate? Is there a normal plate? Maybe here. Let's remove this thing there you go, there's the plates. So let's put it against the wall. Oh, but it's thinner. Yeah, so it's thicker than the plates. It's not a half block. No, it's between a half block and a plate. Nice. So it's going to be half an hour to find the damn block now. Let's see if I can find it. Could it be this pole plate? It definitely looks a little bit thicker. But it's still not the one, is it? Still not the one. Let's see if there's one that is exactly that, that distance there. These are just plates, but really thin. The catwalk plate? No, man. On face. Still not the catwalk plate. Let's look for a uh, cube. Might be this one. There we go. That's the one that connects to these ones here. Nice. And uh, I'm out of wood. Yeah. But I think this will help get an extra support. Of course, there's a break there. I mean, I can put a block in there in the middle. Yeah. 
so it's not supported all the way to the roof but i think at least up to here it should help a little bit i might actually attach something here in the middle so that this whole pillar goes all the way to the roof uh, and i think it should help uh, but i'm gonna figure out later which block i'm gonna use there but for now let's just get some wood it's already night time i don't think i'm gonna be alone out there come on buddy you know you can do it you know you can do it there we go nice that's some strong legs right there there's a friend let's deal with them it's a feral one and i'm out of stamina yep okay are we oh you're up okay i was just waiting not for you i was actually waiting for me buddy well, there you go so it seems like some of my trees are growing uh, i also have a little bit of an iron mine and a nitrate mine here so i might also you know turn this into a big open mine and just get clay and stone and everything out of here it wouldn't be a bad idea but for now let's see do i don't have any rock busters do i no let's just go down a couple of these things and let's just start start banging away some trees hopefully i won't have too many visitors here in fact those trees are still a little bit small uh, they're not fully grown so i'm gonna come all the way here and see if i'm more lucky on this side and let's see if I got some honey. Oh, no honey. I'm actually carrying these three. Uh, they were given to me in a quest. Oh, there's a stupid spider zombie. Hey, are you alone? There we go, thank you. Ooh, and a cast and a corn seed recipe. Nice, and some ammo. That was a good drop. Is it? Is it uh, also that nighttime zombies drop better loot? Is it possible? Could be, I don't know. So let's just remove this thing. Let's put that as a seed. There you go. And I think I'm far enough away that I can also plant some trees around here. Yeah, that should be good. Nothing that I was gonna say. I don't know if I need any more feathers because for the flaming arrows, I don't. I need steel arrowheads. So I'm just gonna craft them when I actually find some arrowheads. And, um,. I already got a bunch of uh, feathers back at base. So I'm not sure if I need to keep collecting them. But, you know, I just like the, the bird's nest. So, for the time being. But if I have to drop them, I don't think I'm going to lose too much if I just drop a few feathers around. Oh, he's a fast one. Should I ask her? Let's ask her a question. Lady, are you from around here? I don't think she is. Thank you. Uh, so I think it's better to use the lights during the night. Because not using the lights only uh, reduces the visibility for me. Because they can see me just fine. <laughs> With a feral sense, no point not using the lights. Uh, but I do think that the sneak still, still works. They randomize the AI behavior, especially in POIs. Like, we still find the sleepers and stuff, so the sneak still works. But uh, it's significantly reduced with the Feral Sense on. And uh, I think I think it's cool. At least we have the chance to choose. And uh, if we go up on the sneak, I think it should help to find more sleepers. And to help reduce the area where the zombies can actually sense us. So I definitely think it's a good option. Tree is just awesome. I really like it. Especially because of the knives and the pistols. And uh, the light armor. Yeah. But okay, so let's see how much wood I got. 1600. I already made 50 blocks. I think it should be enough for now. Oh boy. Where did you come from? This fella shows up everywhere. This is the most common zombie so far. Now. And uh, he just shows up uninvited. Is he down? No, he's not. I didn't see the XP. Yeah. I think we are both both confused. And um Oh there you go. I actually found more wood on the trees than, than on the trees. <laughs> okay, so let's just plant this thing and let's go back to base and uh, finish up those walls. Because at least that's those poles, I think they're gonna help. I think they're gonna help. I'm gonna need a bunch of support. And I'm gonna think if I'm gonna add even more. Oh and another bandage. That's nice. So where's the stupid bike? It's a little... Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. This lady is also lost. I think I better deal with her. 
This is a tough one. It's not a uh, feral, is it? No. Let's make a bleed a little bit. Lady, while you bleed, I'm gonna collect some bones. Okay? You just bleed out there. Don't spread your blood on me, please. Give me some room to collect bones and loot. Are you bleeding enough? Do you want some more? Let's make a bleed more. There you go. I think there was more bones on this side. Oh, look at that. 46 wood. Jesus. <laughs> oh, baby. Are, we, are you done? No? There she goes. Okay. Nicely done. So let's see what else I got here. 500 more. I got 3000 sand. Nice. I should be cooking some stone, shouldn't I? Yeah, I think I should. I kind of forgot to leave some cook, some stone cooking, but I don't have that much. Uh, 500 more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do some mining. But there you go, I got some more pipes and some more spikes. Pipes and spikes? That's kind of hard to say. Uh, and the iron arrows. Uh, I do have some more steel, but I'm out of uh, gunpowder. I would definitely like to find a coal mine. Because I already got a nitrate, but I haven't found one. I'm gonna investigate these little black knot dots. To see if they are what I think they might be. And uh, because the are, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, the nitrate seems to be on the white spots. And there's actually a red spot. Is that the iron? And this white spot is a little bit bigger than the nitrate. So maybe this is lead or something. And this black spot is still the, the coal. So I'm definitely going to mark it. No, let's mark it. And uh, let's see what it is. Let's see if it is coal. It is. It is coal. So there you go. Because back in the day, all these things were black spots. But now, uh, it's kind of obvious that they're a little bit different. So the black one is actually a coal thing. I don't know if it's always the case, but at least this time it was. So that's great. So I'm definitely going to mine some nitrogen coal because I need more gunpowder uh, to do all kinds of stuff. I'm also going to try to do some ammo. Uh, I just don't have... Yeah, I have to check if I have some rockbusters because it's going to help a lot. But yeah, I'm going to keep working through the night. Uh, I'm going to retrieve some gunpowder stuff. I'm also going to collect some clay from this uh, land right here because it has a block higher. So I think it should be fine to dig around there. And I might also try to collect some more stone because daytime should come anytime now. It's already day 14 and if I can do some more ammo, it will be very helpful. But okay, I got some progress on the base. I got some things crafting and I'm definitely going to put some sand here. Some stone, I mean, and let's see what else can I burn. Maybe some brass. Yeah. Stop it. And uh, there we go. For the next episode, I'm not sure. I might go for another quest if I have the time. But if not, it's probably going to be just Fortnite. But for now, thank you for watching. And until next time.